Hi YouTube, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you a very interesting spot for two purposes. Um, today it is going to be about the crystallized catalyst and particularly about the advanced neural circuits. And my plan is to find a spot that is, you know, best in slots. Let's say that yet that it's worth your time maybe for one hour per week or something like this where you can invest one hour grind off tons of these materials stack up so that you can have in advance enough to craft those crystallized catalysts because this is really one of the most important items in the game right now in order for you to progress and make your sentence stronger i'm going to do a one hour test i'm going to make this video you know obviously a speed up video i'm going to record the entire one hour and I will show you the end result. I'm going to start with 61. I have currently 61 brains of this advanced neural circuit. And in the end, I will see how many of these I will have grinded. And the other thing that I'll show you about this spot is originally in the video that I actually posted yesterday, I was recommending this mission over here, Orders Veil. Vale for you to grind for these, but actually this spot I find a little bit more interesting uh, for two reasons. One of them is actually, it's a little bit quicker to complete. There's also less travel time between the start of the mission and the mission itself. And it's a little bit quicker to complete in general, right? So that means that within one hour, we will be able to do more runs and we will get more materials, right? So you can still watch the video for how to grind the crystallized catalysts where in the video i talk about all the different items that you need to grind in order to craft one but in this video i'm just going to focus on this specific mission and i'm going to be focusing only on this specific material just for t testing purposes and the second reason why i told you i'm going to be doing this test is i'm also looking for the mp collector module it has a low drop chance but it has a drop chance in this in this mission so this is the second reason why I will be grinding on this particular spot. I'm sure for one hour I should be able to get one um, or maybe more. So I'll speed up a little bit of the gameplay. You'll see a little bit of the recording. And then in the end of the video, I'm going to give you a recap. I'm starting the timer and putting some music and I'll see you in the results.
So it is it is roughly around two minutes. Let me scoop up from two to three minutes per run. And that's solo by the way. So let's scoop up everything and it is going to be time to do some calculations. And wow, wow beautiful cliff. Alright, so it is time. Let me remove that timer. It is time to take a look at the results. So enhancement material crystallized. I got 293. 293 minus 61. I had 61 in the beginning. 232 brains for one hour. And we need 18 per craft. That means if I divide this by 18. We have almost 13 crafts per one hour worth of materials over here, um, which is nuts. This is crazy. I will also take a look at all the modules that I gathered. Didn't get the MP collector, unfortunately, for the entire hour. Uh, but I think I'm just going to invest a little bit more time into this grind, into this. Um... All right, folks, I'm done with the calculations. I rewatched the entire one hour on a speed up to count every single module that dropped. And the results are actually pretty interesting. It is not the best spot for Kuiper grinding, uh, but it's actually a decent spot for Kuiper grinding. Um... I'm actually, I actually created a new channel, a new Discord server. There isn't, like six people right now in the server uh for, for now uh but the purpose of why i did this server is exactly for uh building a small community of enthusiasts like me that want to share their tests and share their knowledge about the game and i have a specific dedicated channel in my discord server where i wish there were more people um contributing to this channel with different tests of different spots uh with their own results with their what kind of build they're using uh, this will help us grow as a community and and find out what are the best spots in particular a little bit quicker so if you're interested in having um if you're interested in being part of a channel like this make sure to join uh, uh the discord it's gonna be the link below and now let's talk about the results now um I've posted the results over here and uh, let me just pull up the screenshots uh, of uh, my notes. So basically uh, the test results, um, I've got 232 brains for one hour, like I already mentioned um, in, in the video. Uh, and here are the results for how many mods I've got for one hour of grinding. I've got 70 blue mods, uh, 28 purple mods, yellow mode uh, mods and one transcendence um and if you were to salvage and dismantle all those this would have been 56k hyper from the mods itself raw drop i've started at 357k ended up 432k which means that 75k dropped and both put together this is 131k uh kyper per hour not the best spot there are already many many other spots out there that you can go from 200 to 500k hyper per hour but considering the fact that we are here for a different purpose this is actually pretty good uh in terms of gold uh 1.1k uh 1.1 million uh dropped in terms of gold in this spot so that means that it's also an average spot in terms of gold uh, but those are the results that i've got from one hour of grinding here um now i wish there was more data more people contributing to this and we might have more data um you know to compare uh maybe different builds uh maybe different people will do different numbers keep in mind that i grinded this spot 90 percent solo in this entire one hour of grind i was solo i wasn't um you know, I, I didn't have a party. This is why, actually, I also have a channel over here, which is a LFG channel looking for group. If you want to find uh, people to play with, you're more than welcome to join our Discord, ping our, our channel and find yourself a party. And this way we can grind together. And by the way, you can also add me um, at Ushidomaro hashtag 7752. 
this is my hashtag in game i'm more than happy to group up with you guys and have fun together and test out different spots and and stuff like that if you enjoyed this video if you would like to see more than that let me know in the comments below which spot would you like me to test next or you have some ideas about good spots um and i'll see you in the next video good luck with your drops Thank you.